I guess it would help if I unmuted myself. It's late. I'm tired. I haven't slept in a few days, but let's do this. Let's go through a really quick, really quick, because I'm going to speed it up, uh, way to create your Instagram posts in Illustrator. Um, I wasn't on the call with Chris. I wasn't. Um, the way I do it is going to have similarities, uh, except that I'm doing it in Illustrator. Um, whatever you use, just <clears throat> make sure you're proficient at it, and it's easy to go. It's easy to use, and um, you can do what you need to do for the program. Um, I'm still gonna kind of dive into Keynote and see if I can be more proficient in that than I am in Illustrator. I doubt it um, because of just the way I've set my Illustrator file up. And you're going to see it. It's, it's a mess, but um, it has everything I need. And this is a working document, so um, be gentle. <laughs> um, this is definitely a working document. And um, I, will save, um, I will save an empty document set up with just some um, basic titles and styles uh, for for stuff just so that you can see that um, in Keynote you would do, you would set up your, your primary pages and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. But in Illustrator, everything can just be on your artboard. And so, which is easier for me because I can just copy and paste or just drag and drop and um, flowing things from one image or one background to another is, is seamless and let's see how I set up my document. Um, okay. First thing we're going to do is going to set up a new Instagram carousel file. Um, the ratio is 1080 wide by 1350 high. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up 10 artboards next to each other with zero space between. Um, it's important because we want to flow images uh, sometimes from one panel to the next, and that's the easiest way to do it. Um, I know Chris has his way of doing it in Keynote, and and that's easy. Absolutely, you put a you put an image down, and you remember where. You know how far it needs to go um, to the left or to the right to flow into the next keynote slide. Um, but this way, literally, you just place it over, and um, a lot easier. There's no remembering. There's no math. Uh, for some of you, I know I know math is a challenge. Um, so we're going to do this right now. Let me share the screen and. You're first going to see my working Instagram uh, file. It's a mess, but I'll explain uh, what it is in a second. But we're going to create a new file so you can see how, it, how to do it from, from zero. So let's do that. And here we are in Instagram, I mean, uh, in Illustrator. So from the beginning, this is what this file is going to be. Uh, we're going to create a new one. Our format is 1080 by 1350. If this ever loads, awesome. Okay, 1080 wide, 1350 high portrait. Uh, instead of 40, we're gonna do just 10 because we're just gonna set up. I do 40 uh, because I do um, four posts. I actually do 50, I do five posts at a time. So, um, which I recommend, it's nice to see posts that you've done. Uh, and you'll see my file again in a second, but uh, you can actually see it out here. But we're just going to do 10 artboards. Um, it's important to go, go from left to right. We want, uh, we want no space in between. So we want our artboards portrait, obviously, and we want zero spacing in between. And we're just going to go from left to right. We're just going to call this new Instagram carousel template. 
True. All right. Great document. Awesome. And this is what we have. Perfect. One to 10, or if you're somewhere else and it's a one to 10, that's fine too. Now we're going to set up our layers. We're going to set up a few layers here. Uh, my topmost layer is going to be my, uh, my grid lines or guides. So I have a completely separate layer. Uh, next is going to be the microtext. Um, just my company name and things like that, or your company name. This is this layer is going to be the content layer. We're going to put all your content, and then this layer will be your background layer. And there you go. Honestly, it's it's just as easy as that. Um, I'll set up my backgrounds. One thing about Illustrator is if you make sure that that's the right size. If you are doing it on white um, and you export PNGs, it's going to actually export it as transparent. If you do not put a white uh, shape back there, so I like to have each artboard have its own shape, so that if I need to turn backgrounds different colors, I can just do so really quickly. Or if I need to grab that. Um, that shape to make a mask for anything for any reason I can do that really quickly so um, I'm gonna copy that there and then I'm just gonna paste it in place on each one of these and there's more efficient ways to do that but you get the idea so I'm just gonna turn some of these in gray so that we have some kind of idea of what the background is. And a lighter gray, cool. Obviously, if you're not gonna do this, if you're gonna do this kind of beetle juicy striped color, then more power to you. Um, now, actually, all of, what I wanna do is set up my guides. <clears throat> uh, so I like to have and this is going to be this is going to be very individual to the way you like to set up your files. Um, I like to have my stuff pretty gridded out, um, and so I just like to have a nice little um, bounding box, pretty equal distant from the sides, and this is going to be my my grid space for my outer text, my bottom text, um, and then my left and right margins pretty much. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm doing this really loose and, and easy so that we can get better already. Um, select all those, command five, turn it into a grid, and there you go. Those are your grid, those are your grid lines. Um, I also will put a grid line, I'll do a perfect square, which is 1080 by 1080 square. I will center it, align it to artboard, center it in the middle for, it's basically for my uh, first slide, because on the Explorer page, they only show your a square crop of your your content, and also in your in your feed, if you're doing portrait style size or style, your feed is going to be cropped to that square. So it's a bunch of squares. Looks really nice in the format. But if your content is going over or or below that square, then it's going to look kind of messy. So. Um, I like to have a secondary grid line all the way across. Obviously this in the middle here is a square, but I also want to know where that 1080 square mark is throughout my document. So again, I'm just going to make another grid line there. So these are all basically my rulers for my content. 
And then I'm going to set up my basic micro text and we will put, um, I'm just going to put a little star here. You can do this. This is your company, company text. I'll put like a, this is my logo or whatever. You can put it here. We'll just put it on this side to be different. Um, and then, you know, maybe this is, I don't know, the, the, the date. Um, zero one, zero one, 1974. Cause it's a really good year for me. And I'll show you how to set up the text styles in a second. Um, <clears throat> and then down here, we're just going to do the same thing. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys have specific hashtags. This is where you would, you know, put your uh, Instagram handle um, or name or whatever, maybe hashtag. I have a couple hashtags that I use. Um, do, 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 if I can spell. All right, this is hashtag zero one and then zero two, whatever. You can line these up however you want to align them. Uh, and then this side would be just a simple page number. So this would be zero one. So I would select all that text and create your text, your basic, you know, font. I don't know what you're going to use. We'll just use for the terms of our demo, just to Helvetica because it's Helvetica and why wouldn't you use it? Make sure in Instagram, there's a little tip, make sure you are using optical so that everything is really nicely spaced out letter wise. Um, you can also increase some sizes, all your text, text information here. So, um, you know, this can be whatever you want it to be. I'll usually put a more bold page number or whatever. This is going to be my, um, logo or whatever um yeah so this is your, your basic bounding box text however you want to form that but that's kind of what it is and that's what these markers are for you don't want to ever <clears throat> put your content too close to this because it just gets too muddy that's another reason why i have these middle guides so that i don't go too far into what this text is going to be um, and then you just copy and paste for every page, command F is paste in place. If you didn't know that, I'm sure you did. All right. And then real quickly, I'm just gonna change the page numbers. And this might be a little bit more work than Keynote, but I am setting up a document from scratch. I no longer have to do this from scratch because I have, I don't know, eight different documents now for my carousels. Um, and I'll sometimes won't even use the number on the last page. So that's kind of your basic setup. Um, everything else is content. So you, you know, you, come in here and you pull out your text box. Make sure they're right there. You pull out your text box for your headline. And you know, um, there you go. And set up your Titling for that, I will use, I use a, all caps because I just 
I like the way it looks. Honestly, there's no really, there's no real other reason than aesthetically. I just appreciate the way caps look. Um, it's easier to read too um, because I don't put a lot of text on the screen anymore. I used to put a lot of text on the screen, uh, but not any longer. I'll, I'll really, I really like pare down how much text I put on the screen. It should be really, really minimal. I like people to kind of like flow through almost like a flip book. And um, it, as I've cleaned up that part of what I post, um, it's forced me to do a few things. It's forced me to pare down the content that I put out um, to really, really digestible chunks. And as well, it forces me to be really creative with my headlines and my, my copy. So it's really challenging me to, um, to really truncate and, and get really efficient with the letters and the wording and the, the, the sentence structures that I use so that it's really short, concise, and people can scroll through quickly. Um, I do use a more narrow typeface for my headlines, um, but for this purpose, this is, this is fine. So um, if this was the, if this is the, the bounding box here, and I'll just put a quick little tangle here to remind us where, um, where that is. So this is what Instagram shows people, that blue part. So for this first slide, I pull in my titles a lot so that it's either perfectly centered or if it's higher on the, I'm not gonna get too crazy about like my typography right now, but I probably will. Um, I will adjust it so that I can do like a subhead or um, my secondary font for whatever. Um, Christo is a dance god. Um, bringing his b-boy skills to uh, next generation. I don't know. Whatever. Sorry, Chris. We're just, I'm just having fun. Actually, I'm not sorry. It's pretty funny. All right. So then I just make sure that this is nice and balanced. Now I'm kind of setting up my own little text rules. Okay. Headline, subhead, and I'm going to use these kind of like these fonts in, in this way um, moving forward. And, you know, how easy will, will it be to just say um, like this, make it big, do this. There's no math involved. There's no space between these artboards literally flowing from one to the next. There's no space. There's no, um, there's no interruption in the flow and you really don't do anything else except for texturizing it and um, making it how you want to make it. Um, if you're going to do this kind of method and I really like this because it, it helps people just to get to the content really quickly. So um, pictures the same. I'll bring a photo in that I've used recently. Um, this one, let's see this one. This was good. Let's pull this in real quick. Just pull it right in. And if I were to export this right now, this photo would, would be completely flowing perfectly from one to the next. There's no math. It's one photo. There's no, there's no other instance of it. 
it's just one. Um, I will do multiple instances of a photo if I have to do a special fancy trick or whatever. Actually, let's look for a b-boy photo. Um, if I have to do like a special fancy trick for it, then I will you know, do different instances, but um, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Let me just find a really quick b-boy shot. Um, maybe not. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. This could be this could be Christo right here. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right. There he is, Master Doe. Boom, look at that. This is awesome, perfect. Perfect. Delete that because we don't need that anymore. If I want to do any kind of blending modes or whatever, they're here. Um, you know, It's fun. Boom, look at that. Looks good. Tighten it up to the end of that one. Awesome. Flow it from one to the next. Um, if I wanted to do that trick where did kind of flipbook style. I would just make it short here. Probably do some Photoshop cropping or I can just quickly go in with my pen tool somewhat quickly. Do, 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 if I could find it. I'm gonna do my pencil tool and I'm gonna do a really dirty Matt, just for the sake of doing it, you can take as much time as you want on this, but this is just for the sake of teaching the method. Um, that's fine. We could also do and go in Photoshop real quick and and make this happen. Lock that. To my path. Doing that. All right, there we go, the magic of masking. This is it right here. The clipping mask, boom, here we are. It's a dirty mask, but... Um, you get the idea. I'm going to start right here. And then the next page, just literally drag, press option, and scale it really quickly. And zoom it. Boom. There he is. And now we have... Christo ish moving through. So literally what you see here is what is going to be on Instagram. Um, I have my final slide. Um, I'll just copy and paste my actual final slide up just so that I can share with you what, um, all happening here. This final slide has gone through some iterations um, as I've done these to find out what works, what doesn't work. Um, and this is just some fun, interesting things that have worked recently. And I'm going to delete my microtext from there 
and from here because I don't need it because I'm using that space in a different way and I've was reminded by and also stole this idea from Dave Tallis who stole it from somebody else so I think that makes it okay um, I stole this little I'm I'm trying to get away from likes and are asking for likes and I'm moving towards um, just building more community and building more conversation. So um, feel free to use that too. I think it's a great idea. I stole this from Tom Ross from Design Cuts. Uh, he has a little um, speech bubble there instead of the little heart and saying, hey, like this and stuff. Also, I, I still have this up here to like. I just think it's a fun little interactive thing. I've had many people comment that they just wanted to fill the heart and, and to see it to see it beat so they would actually double tap it a lot to kind of like have fun with that animation. Um, so um, I, I wanted to stay away from that down here. So what I decided to do was go and I want to have more conversations with people. So um, I pulled this conversation bubble in and that's pretty much the direct place where it is living. Um, just let me see it through. Um, actually, I'm going to do this and I'm going to put another there. Hashtag dance. Oh, dance. Take this down to uh, outside, and then I don't know, whatever. Mm. Just you kind of final slide. This is really not how to build content. This is not how I make. Um, the content that I make, it's just how I build my files. So um, if you want, if you're interested in me talking about like how I come up with my content and how I build um, my different files, then um, I can do that later. Just comment on this video and um, I can do that another time. So um, this is it pretty much. So your styles are, are easy. Once you've built one, then it's easy, right? To build multiple others. Um, from here, exporting is literally the easiest thing in the world. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Easiest thing in the world if you do it correctly. Um, so Command Option E brings up your export for screens. Right now, everything's selected. Uh, like I said before, I do 50 artboards in in um, a file, and that is because um, I want to see five posts um, at once. And I might build two or three at the same time. I might just build one. I might build all five. Uh, it, it depends. Um, how much content I've, I'm coming up with at the moment. Every time I come up with, a, with another, um, another, every time I finish a post, I come up with like ideas for another one. So um, I'm constantly just writing in my, um, my text file or my notes app that and just ideas for content. And just, I, I was afraid I was going to run out of ideas and instead it's working the opposite. I'm getting more and more ideas. So, when I do um, multiple, like when I do 50, I name each row like A, B, C, D. Um, and then, um, so I'll do it here. So I'll do like A underscore zero one. And then I'll just continue this on for the rest. I hope you guys find this helpful. Um, because uh, 
it's, I think, I think it's super helpful. So if you're not really sure how to build it and you don't really want to learn Keynote and you already know Illustrator, this is a really fast, easy way to do it. Um, so everything's set up here. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a suffix and this is where I actually have the actual, um, like the title for my, my content. It's like, um, dance God or something like that. So it'll be named a one. It'll be MXM underscore a zero one underscore dance God dot PNG. Um, and you can scale this however you want. But if you just output it like this, it's literally going to be perfect. And we'll see it right now. Uh, let me just put it to my desktop. I shouldn't have anything there. Cool. Finally, a clean desktop. And yeah, so I'll export it. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to go to. Hey, so we've exported. We've exported everything onto the desktop. And these are our individual screens or files. And if I preview this and I just step through each one, seamless images over and text, as well as information that ever, whatever each board has. And there's my final slide with my beautiful avatar. And it's always good to ask a question, say thank you. Um, people are people are actually investing their time to kind of read this stuff. So um, it's always kind of a nice thing to say thank you and ask a question just to so you engage your audience a little more. And that's that's it. Hope you guys found value in this. Uh, if you guys need any, if you guys have any more questions that I can answer. Um, uh, just leave them in the comments below and, and I'll see if I can create some content for answering those questions. Those questions. So I'm going to stop the share real quick. Um, hopefully you guys, that is useful. I'm going to put a link to this, like I think I said earlier, below in the comments so you guys can download this file and have fun. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>